This is ContactTalkRadio.com. Consciousness in action. And you are taking action into your consciousness by tuning into Contact Talk Radio. And on TuneIn.com, Ying.fm, and Upsnap Mobile. Contact Talk Radio. Welcome to Transformations with Tara Sutphin. Tara Sutphin is the author of Blame It on Your Past Lives, Soul Agreements, and The Abenda Chronicles. Grammy-nominated audios, videos, and MP3 series. You can find these MP3 series now at TaraInsight.com. Welcome to Transformations with Tara. Hey, this is Tara Sutton, and my guest and co-host today is Jason D. McKean. And he is the voice of over a million ohm recordings throughout the world. And he has a big line of, uh, gosh, all sorts of albums and uh, recordings, MP3s of OM, and um, just tons of titles, and also of uh, meditations as well. And he is the OM Tarot Wizard. You've been doing classes in Japan and all sorts of fun stuff. So welcome. Lots and lots of fun stuff. Thank you. Good morning, Tara. Good morning. Yeah. So uh, today we're going to talk about are you hopeful and fearless? Because it's it's basically, you know, we have to get back on track. Back on track. So where are we hopeful again? You know, because I, I see a lot of people, they they're they're being pushed into doubt all the time. You know, their health, their their work, their how they're making money, how they're how they're, you know, uh, just wanting to medicate themselves even, you know, and, and go away from whatever it is. Uh, but the thing is that, you know, we have to uh, generate being fearless beings. That is a process. I mean, that, that's the, the, the thing that, uh, you know, is I, I like to, I guess, teach the, the most as far as, you know, when I'm my my classes they're they're not just about teaching tarot they're about <clears throat> teaching trust you know I, I know that you know what you teach is is about um you know trusting yourself and you know being being in touch with with who it is that you are getting down to the the, the center the core of, of who you are and you know to, to trust that that who you are in life you know that you're you're given this this uh this time you know, in, in the present to be able to uh, expand upon that center and, and to, you know, do things that are, you know, they, they may feel like they're, they're out of the box for you. They may feel like, oh boy, how am I going to do this? All right. But, you know, that's, that's the amazing things about humans is that we are given, you know, sometimes these like seemingly impossible things to do, but we're also given that seed of like, well, I can do this, <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, it, it's, it's almost, uh, it, you know, one doesn't come without the other. It's like, we, we do need that, that spark that says, you know, I, I, I can do this. It may take a little bit of doing, but, um, you know, I, I would like to, you know, be this person in life or do this thing in life. Um, and, and, and that, that hope is what, what gives us uh, a, a motivation every every day you know sometimes every waking moment where where we have to like tap into that and say yes i can do this so that we we keep going mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and it is it's about tapping in and, and tuning in instead of tuning out because mm -hmm. you know a lot of people are lost they feel lost in the world and it's not about feeling lost it's about belonging and feeling that you do belong here and you weren't born by accident at this time in history you're to you're to wrestle it and wrangle it and and get into the groove of it yeah or or where you feel like you were just born in the wrong time you yeah. know the, the wrong time period or so it's like you, you probably you know because we both do <laughs> past life regression you probably were born you know like way you know in in the these times that you resonate with that's why you resonate with them but it's it's always about building upon our our own knowledge, our own 
you know, the, the, the mental knowledge, but also our, our soul knowledge too. It's always about, you know, adding to that and, and, and building on that and expanding. Yes. Yeah. And that's it, you know, expanding expansion, not uh, contraction expansion. Mm-hmm. And it's not our bodies expanding. Right. At the time of the holidays, you know, it's, it's like, whoa, we can really expand <laughs> at this time. Yeah. <laughs> what was our, our producer was telling us about uh, his birthday, getting a 10 pound cinnamon roll. <laughs> yeah. Or, five. or maybe five pound, maybe five after pounds. they ate half of it, it was like the five pound cinnamon roll. Right. But, uh, <laughs> delicious. I, I have to see it. I have to see it on, on Facebook there. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was delicious. But yeah, 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 the holidays are coming. But it's also expanding. They're special. <laughs> and that's when we're going to eat. That's when we can eat. In place, for sure. Right. And, and work it off, right? It's like we got to work it off as far as uh, if we're going to like, you know, expand in that way. It's like we got to, you know, exercise. Well, I go to the gym. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, is that, you know, it's. It, it has to be easy, <clears throat> you know, it's just walking. Yeah, just keep going moving. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so are there like, you know, we look at, at things like meditation and all as a beginning place, right? To right. Uh, set the intention within oneself to connect, to, uh, you know, see those, um, those those beginning places or or to to look at at the vision to start creating the vision of who it is that that you you want to be um i i tell people that uh uh they'll ask me what's your favorite tarot card and it's like you know as the tarot wizard it's like i don't like to play favorites you know it's like asking our mom you know who's your favorite child hey we all know it's me we all we all know it's me (laughs) but wait did that did I hear that right? <laughs> That's why we love to do it. Yeah. One of my favorites, one of my favorites is the two of, of wands, because I feel it's, it's that person who's like, has the world there in their hands. And it's like creating the world you wish to inhabit. And how is it that you want to show up in that world? What are the qualities that you're looking to project? And, you know, are, are you a person of compassion, of kindness, who, who wants to, to help? Um, that, that's a start. Right, that that's a, a spark, but but then it's about how you start to to you know put it into action and to see you know what it looks like, who it is that you're going to be, and and so meditation, as far as like getting in tune with these qualities of of who you are, um, not not everyone is just a super like people person, you know, it's like they they yeah. like to just kind of be in their own company and all that, and that's you know, that can make you great at, at staying focused in, in your own space, in your own laboratory. Um, you know, you can be a researcher, right? You can like, uh, you know, help in, in those ways. Um, you well, it has to be a happy medium in anything. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't expect that, you know, um, love is going to show up by walking through your door. You have to, you have to, you have to seek what you're you're looking for in the world as as well as it coming to you you know so the the thing is it has to be a happy medium so it's not about being too extroverted and and being out there you know and and um because then you get into this whole thing of of it has to be outside experiences that fulfill you you know we, we don't need to be fulfilled by the outside we can that's it's within that we fill our cup and and feel the contentment you know it it can be the smallest littlest things around your house or around your city you know I mean you know it's the smallest things it's not necessarily the bigger things you know your cat or your dog that sort of thing so the thing is is that um I feel that you you know we we tend to kind of mess ourselves up by thinking we need to to uh look perfect or or be perfect out in the world as far as you know like um uh, you know just the a restaurant say you know that they want all the food to be like perfect to feed you 
but in reality, you know, there's a lot of food out there that we have to be a little bit careful of, but you want to be able to eat so beautifully in life. And so the thing is, is that, you know, you just have to be careful in life about what, what you're eating, what you're doing, how you're exercising, and not to look at the perfection of other people, but the perfection of yourself. So is, if that's taking some time to rest, that's good. If it's taking some time to mingle a little bit, that's good. Because, you know, it's a, anything that's, that you are creating your world. So that's where the hopeful, hopeful and the fearless come in, you know, because it's not about um, only being hopeful. You have to kind of put that armor on and say, I'm going to be fearless. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. Yeah. It's, yeah, you have to, to move through, you know, the, these, these challenges that you set up for yourself, you know, when, when you look to create uh, that, that world, it's like, okay, who am I going to be in that world? You know, what's my part in that and, and to show up in it. And does that mean that, that the world is, is always just like, you know, sees you and recognizes you for who you're, you're looking to be and, and accepts you. It's like, not all the time. Sometimes you, you have to, you know, push up against the, the, the world, you know, to, to get your, your um, agenda across, you know, your, what you, what you want to do. Um, you know, it's like you, you have to put in that effort. And so, uh, you know, does it take a, that, that fear fearless or just less fear you know i i, I have a uh you know there's there's a couple words <laughs> that i i like butt up against and that's like control and 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 fearless because i think that there's always a little bit of fear that can motivate us that can help keep us in in the present moment so that we don't become blase about things you know so that we don't just well i'm just going to run across the, the busy street and, uh, you know, grab something, you know, without looking both ways and saying, ah, there are consequences. Well, yeah, there's right. consequences to that. So, so just being like present, but, but also, you know, it's that, that connection, that, that, that fine connection that we have with, with, with our own hope, which is that, that ability to, to take these, these, these steps. Sometimes it's a leap. But sometimes it's it's just a step forward, mm -hmm. forward, forward, because it it fills us with this this light, this this um, uh, this ability to see ourselves in a in a, a a higher way, where we can we can see that that we're uh, making advancements, that that we're you know fulfilling something that that is important to us. Right. And that's the fulfilling of something important to us, you know, because there is like step, step, step that you have to do sometimes to, you know, keep what's important to you. Yeah. You can't just, you have to have a little bit of sight. That's why I always like to teach the psychic seminars and because, you know, I, it's a tool, you know, let's have a little bit of sight. You know, you don't want to be caught in some kind of weird consequences you want to be able to see the flags you want to be able to know you know when it's a green light when it's a red light you know you want to know you know uh don't cross that street and don't look both ways you know you should be making sure that you're crossing the t's dotting the i's you know there's there's different times in your life where that comes that comes through and whether that's, you know, because you can't just sit and hope, sit and hope doesn't do it either. You can meditate and, you know, put it into your consciousness that this is the clarity that I would like to receive, but then you have to move to action. Your body must move on the earth. So what would you like to accomplish in your life? You know, you're talking about the, uh, the, the intuition, the, the, the building of that. It's like in, in tarot class, we'll do exercises where we'll pull a card and say, is that a green light, a yellow light or a red light? Mm -hmm. You know, as far as that, if it's a signal, if it's a, a signal for you to, to move forward 
or to like, you know, uh, stay like put, you know, and, th you know, that's, that's building that trust within yourself. So that when, as you're navigating, not only your inner self, you know, because we've met those people who are just like, ah, yeah, and I want to do this and I want to do, 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 you know, and they're going a million miles an hour within themselves, right? Yeah. It's like navigating yourself so that, that you're not just so far in, into it, you know, that, that you're, you're having difficulty, um, you, you know, seeing, seeing your, your inner self and then how it's uh, being embodied you know, how, how you're activating it, um, you know, to, to how you're navigating your relationships with, with other people, you know, people who can um, be those, those team members or the, the support that, that you have out there right. um, to, to get, again, it's like, if you're activating, um, you know, an idea of who it is that, that you, that you know, you are, you know, or, or you're, you're wanting to become this person. Um, th that's, that's something that you're looking to embody that. And, and, you know, not, not everyone knows that you're that person. It's like what most of us are, are looking at with others are their actions, uh, not just what they say, but you know, what they do, how they show up, how they invest themselves. And that can take time. You know, that's, that's the, the thing about, you know, the, like the difference between our inner self, it's like, we can, we can know, it's like, yeah, you know, and it's like, we, we just have that, that inner knowing, but, but communicating that to, to others, connect, communicating it to the world is, is where, um, you know, that's sometimes the, the work. <laughs> and it's, it's something that can take time. And, you know, you become your best surrogate in that as well by by showing up in consistent ways and um you know if if it's if it's working right if it's if, if there's an alignment there then then people will you know put two and two together and say oh yeah it's like you are that person i get that and and that's you know building support it's building a a, a community there of of people who see you for for who who it is that that you are Right. And I think that, gosh, I've been doing this for so long. People don't see me as anything but. That, that's, uh, <laughs> you know, I, that, I don't think anybody sees uh, you for anything but the tarot wizard. Yeah. You're the own tarot wizard. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nobody sees. Yeah. They see me too. That's who I am. You know, for Halloween, I dressed up as the invisible man. Oh, right, right. How'd that go? It was, it was great. It was a lot of fun. And it, it was, uh, it was a technical thing, you know, as far as a technical effect and one can only achieve it on, on Zoom. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was, uh, it, you know, 364 days out of the year, people know me as the, the tarot wizard, as the, mm -hmm. you know, as, as the wizard, whatever. But, you know, for one day, because Halloween, you're, someone else right you gives you a permission to be someone else it's like to just be in the in the background and, and to not be anybody <laughs> that was that was like a that was a lot of fun um right. yeah, I, I enjoyed it we we did a, a, a tarot party we had a, a, a tarot party that was um hosted by a couple of students and they uh dressed up like uh alex trebek and vanna white and uh you know, we had games that were tarot based, like Jeopardy, but it was like all tarot themed, and everyone was going, "Oh my God, what what, what is the, uh, you know, the the question to that, or, you know, the." Uh, it looks. It sounds fun. It, it was a lot of fun, and it stretched everyone's uh, the, their knowledge, e even mine. I was like, "Oh my God, you know, that's that's really in the weeds there, as far as." you know, that, uh, that card or whatever. And, and it was, uh, it was, it was great. We had great prizes and, uh, and I didn't win. 
<laughs> oh man, that's that's a difference. But that would have been suspicious had I won. Right, right. That would have been. You know, I think there would have been some some uh, cries of foul play there if I'd won. Right, right. We all play balderdash, and Jason always wins. I don't always win. Almost always. Almost, almost. Yeah, but you know, I have that story that you know at Thanksgiving twenty something years ago that uh, I had um, uh, a veterinarian, uh, she came to, to uh, Thanksgiving, you know, I just invite a couple other people, usually stragglers, you know, people who don't have their family around. And uh, she, uh, she came to, and we played Balderdash and she, I remember she was the champion because somebody made her a crown. Right, she won. Yeah, out of a paper bag or something and we have pictures of it. <laughs> But, you know, when my horse was in, the, my horses were in the fire of the Woolsey fire, she was the one who saved my horse, my one horse. I mean, both of them were, you know, very uh, traumatized, but she saved. Yeah, and it, and it wasn't like you knew her or you, it's not like you called her up to like save her. Oh, no, no, it's no. It's like she just remembered from. Yeah, I hadn't seen her in, in 20 years, but when on the ranch somebody said oh that's uh because she said who's the owner of this horse and there was only one guy up there and he goes yeah i think tara and she goes and she goes oh i remember this horse yeah and yeah so she took it off but and then they no, there was no records or anything because everything had burned down so so um uh the only record was, um, I mean, was on the internet. She looked me up on the internet of who I was. Yeah, psychic and hypnotherapist. Boom. I wonder if she still wears her balderdash crown. I wonder if she does. Did now. you ask her? I've seen her since now. Yeah, because, you know, she's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it's, uh, it, you know, you know, not to not to get into the weeds of you know like being known for something right it's like no but how fun yeah you know as as one you know looks to progress in in the world to expand to you know um take that that inner inner place of you know where it, where it begins as as a as a hopeful spark yeah you build on it and and you you know look to um you, you know start to solidify it in in the world you look to manifest it so that again you're embodying it you know and, and you're being being recognized for it so that you can create places of support you know sus sustainment in in the in the world um and, and then you know being in a, a place of where uh you know expansion is is when you're um you're still retaining a, a hopefulness you're, you're still in a place of moving through fear. You know, it doesn't, you don't just get to one place and it's like, it all stops, right? It's like, it, it just takes it to the, the next level or opens up the next layer. You know, the, there, there's a, a new door that is, um, you know, that presents itself or, or many doors that, that present themselves. And, and so, that, that process of building trust doesn't go away. You know, you're, you're just, uh, you're, you're relying on it more and more. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, relying on yourself, maybe if that's part of the hopeful part is that, you know, because we lose a lot of hopefulness in what we can accomplish you know, people like society has made us think that, you know, to doubt ourselves. I mean, they continue to do that. You know, they work for us. We really do not work for them. That's the bottom line. You know, I tell this to my clients all the time. Everything works for us. You don't work for them. So, so you turn it, you turn it, you bring it, you bring it around, you know, cause you're running your own ship. So let's run it. Let's run it well. Yeah. So so, so it's always about having really good, you know, thought process ideas on what you want to go forward with, you know, because we all have hiccups, 
there's all hiccups and you know everybody has a hiccup so but there's always a solve or and and with that a solution can be made mm -hmm. so and and we're supposed to look at our our red lights and our and our uh different things that come up for us and be able to kind of move past them and th and through them like what are we we want to really accomplish accomplish the great things in life but how do we do that we have to have some kind of faith and not be hopeless you know because once you go down the rat that rabbit hole of hopelessness i mean it can be a big rabbit hole it, it's it's a spark it's fuel it's you know however you know one looks at it it, it can it can be the 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 full fire you know that that's within us that is uh motivating us but it, it's i mean i i think that it's it's something that is just beyond the mechanics of our um our mind as far as uh i, I don't think that that hope relies on 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 the how to's of something you know where you know it's if you know one has has hope to become something in in life one one isn't like just um relying on that hope to be a mechanical process where it's it's like well it's going to happen like this boom 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 and then you know goal accomplished right that's mm -hmm. that's part of it you know but i think hope is what's what's driving that where where we go to that that stage of 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 planning our steps and um you know when when you know certain things if if they work they work if they don't work then you know we have to go back to the the drawing board or or refine something um tune it up to to get us you know where we're where we're still on the path but but i, I see hope as the as the the fuel that that's pushing us from from behind and you know keeping keeping that that alive within ourself i i think that there there is a a part of our um our, our mental place uh our mind that that looks to see progress that looks to see that you know we're, we're not just um spinning our wheels you know that we're we're not just um, saying something but we're we're not uh making any headway in it and and i i think that you know that that progress that we make i think that that can you know be added um added fuel for us to to keep that that hope within us um you know burning burning bright or as bright as it needs to be you know is is right. there uh you know times when it it, it you know we can just kind of keep it like uh at a little simmer yeah I, I think so you know where where we uh you know don't don't let our our hope get so so bright or whatever that that it it blinds us you know that that, that we you know sometimes th the road towards something is is kind of long um you know I, I think about you know projects that i've had where you know I, I, yeah like when I was making uh, a movie, it took three years <laughs> to make the movie. And and so, you know, instead of it being like a, a flash of, uh, you know, just like, yeah, I'm going to do this and nah, 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 you know, it's just like, okay, you know, we'll just keep it at a, at a simmer, you know, we'll just keep it, keep it moving along and, and we'll work on it when we can. And, you know, so that, so that one isn't just, um, getting in in that that inner space of 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 wrestling themselves of of having like the these expectations and they're they're just not being you know just fulfilled at at a certain level it's like it's okay to 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 match that accordingly so that you can be in it for uh the the long haul if that's if that's what that that path entails I think there's all sorts of levels, all sorts of layers of, uh, you know, I find that being a, a tarot reader um, that, you know, sometimes you, you have like, 
uh, events that that you have to really be present for. It's like your energy is really high in that moment, but it's a it's a short burst, you know. And then there are the the longer, you know, like doing classes for the last, you know, three years, basically, you know, of of the, the live and then going to the the Zoom and uh, it's like you know one one keeps the that that uh, everything on kind of like a, a an accordingly matched simmer so that that one has the the energy for it and then there are things that that come up that are like um they they're they're like a special event or something it's just like you you just turn it up you know you turn up the the heat on it am i a fire sign or what yeah uh, i'm like talking about like the heat well, and the you, fire you, and... you you are but you know i've been uh talking about uh uh, different how your soul is, you know, and um, elemental, the elemental part of your spirit. Yeah. And so I've been writing about that. You know, I've been writing a book and talking about a long project, you know, well, I just kept at it, kept the simmer going. Yeah. And, you know, so I'm almost done. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm on the home stretch now. So whereas, you know, it's editing, it's always in the editing process. You know, I have my team who's reading it, and you know, uh, bridging and doing all sorts of fun things. But the thing is, is that I, um, I feel that the elemental spirit of you, Jason, is not a fire sign. You're not, you're not a fire spirit. You would be uh, probably more of an air spirit. You might even be a star seed. Yeah. Yeah, most likely a star seed. So, so it's, it's interesting, the difference, you know, uh, because we're not necessarily our, our as, astrology through our, our soul goals. We're not. So anyway, I've been writing about that. Yeah. A astrologically, it's like I, you know, in the intra natal, the, um, the, the sun sign it's, it's, uh, it, there's, there's intense fire with the double leo but that's it that that's you know there's there's a yeah. lot of water i have a lot of water i have a lot of water astrologically yeah. but um and earth and, and earth and wow. and air because everybody has everything because of yeah astrologically that's one of the things i don't have in my chart is any air right but but am i you know is that that sometimes you know, one, uh, you know, looks to, to find those things that they, they may not have innately. I have a lot of like Libra friends. I have a lot of, uh, you know, Aquarius um, uh, partners, you know, um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's like the, it, you know, so I, I seek a lot of the, uh, the, the intellectual, you know, I, I seek a lot of, of that, uh, that understanding. Mm -hmm. Who do you got there? <laughs> Sophia. Ghost has been there. Sophia, Beanie, you know, they're all. You want to come up and say hi? Yeah, bring her up. Bring her up. Come on. Come here. Come Just here. don't pull her ears. Yeah. Come here. Come here. I always forget that with Sophia. Yeah. I always like, you know, like do the motorcycle thing with their ears. Yeah, she can't get through a ghost. ghost. And she's like, uh, she always like yelps, and it's like, oh, geez, I forgot. It's like, what dog doesn't like that, right? It's like uh, both Arch and Non, they love the the motorcycle ears. Yeah. Be Harley Davidson, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna pick her up because okay. she. Because she she can't get through ghosts. Ghosts keeps moving. From one <laughs> he's he's blocking her. The next, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's then, my mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, grandma. <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. She he's Hunter's dog. Oh, and loves Hunter. You know, I just take care of him when he's working. So. Uh, uh, with you know like building like hope inside is, is there uh any techniques that that you feel are um good good starting points or um 
you know, good ways to, to, to keep, uh, you know, cause I, I, I'm, I'm familiar with, with ways to, to, to keep it active and all, but, but like, just really like, you know, getting something that's that, that initial spark going. Yeah. The initial spark going. What, yeah. What, what's, what's helpful. Oh, what's helpful. Well, I think it really what's helpful is always meditation and hypnosis. I do love visualization. I do. Um, and because uh, uh, I, I think that we have to resonate like our, our energy has to start um, like being brought around so that we start to be walking in the right direction, if nothing else. And so um, and then, you know, I, I like things like, um, you know, e eating healthy. I, I think that that's a lot a lot to do with how we feel. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and a lot of people, you know, I, I mean, well, I just don't, you know, I, I, I can personally, you know, coach anybody as far as if they need to eat better, bring their blood pressure down, anything like that. But, um, you know, I hate to like knock at co certain companies and different things because, you know, they're trying to be good, but they're not sometimes. I mean, you know, it's not healthy. So, um, so the big thing is, is that, um, you know, eat well, sleep well. It's, and that's a, a lot of times you can do that through MP3s as well. But uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, I love transcendental meditation, but a lot of people, they, they can't keep their focus even on their, on their mantra. And they, they, tend to like discard that and then you know kind of go into a bad phase and then come back to it's just easier if you just do visualizations at night you put them on downloads into your brain you know you listen to it 60 to 90 times and then hey you know you're you're reaching for a celery stick you're not reaching for that five pounds <laughs> cinnamon roll Cinnamon roll. That's so wonderful, though. And you know, I mean, and it's a birthday. So birthdays, you know, you have, you're, you're clear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think I've ever put like in a, in an MP3. You know, you're going to reach for a celery stick. You know, that's not what I do. It's just you know, gen a gently moving someone into, you know, their better self. Right, something that is is healthy for yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. Well, and that they they'll gain more energy, you know. And how is that? Because you know that's again, you know, what, what keeps your interest, you know, might be bike riding or might be um, swimming or walking around. You know, I don't. You know, it's different for everybody. Yeah. You know, mine's horses, tennis. You know, now it's been the gym. But, uh, but I, but I'm in and out and I like stuff like the elliptical where it's not hard on your, you know, knee, joints. I don't, I don't like anything hard in the joints. I do like walking on the beach yeah. when there, when there is sand, but our, our beach here in, in Malibu has been, it's been rocks. It's like the sand has not, the, the sand usually it, it migrates down. It's never just always there in the same place it, it moves down and then right. there was a neighbor who was telling me that it's like being blocked you know by by certain you know parts of the, ge the geography you know up north and so it's not always like just easily available but just this, mm -hmm. this year in particular it's been really quite rocky and it's like who likes that who likes a rocky beach right well it is hard yeah <laughs> yeah it's just it's just hard to uh you know, to get into that, that meditative state when you're just like, you're just walking with your, your mind is open. It's like when it's rocky, it's like, you're looking down to make sure that you're not uh, yeah. going to trip on something. There's probably a lot of stability in all those rocks though. No, there's not. <laughs> They're all loose. <laughs> no, no. I meant as far as the homes and the homes on the, because well, the, the in the bedrock, yeah, like the bedrock, but these are like loose, loose, just Older. stones. Yeah, that are there. It's it's not uh, it's it's not an easy 
navigation at all. You know, I went up to Nova Scotia a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and uh, I have a client up there. So I went into uh, Halifax and I went up to the Bay of Fundy. It was fascinating. Wow. Fascinating. What made it fascinating? Well, because all the boats, um, they let it dry. They, they, they dry dock and all the water goes out because it's the highest tide in the world. And so the actual hull of the boats are, are down in creek beds and uh, harbors and they just sit on the sand and then they wait for the, the because it will raise 30 to 50 feet Whoa. water. And, and then, yeah, and then the, it's up again and then they go out. But they say in the out, you don't like dive in it or anything because, because uh, the boulders, there's big boulders that go out and come back and out and, and they're big, huge boulders that, that uh, go with the, go with the flow. It's been, it's really interesting. So, so the tide rolls them in. Right. Rolls and we out. used to live in Anchorage where Cook Inlet was the third highest tide in the world. And so we know, you know, there's never any boats, nobody, nobody takes any sort of chances on that water. No one. Yeah. Cause they're mud flats. I mean, you, it's like quicksand. Yeah. Yeah. It's just going to take you down. Yeah. And you know, and there's been like helicopter crashes and different things in it though, you know, but still, you know, we're rescues and stuff, but it's a, it's a, it's a crazy water. So it was really interesting to be on the Bay of Fundy. Yeah. See all that. Beautiful. But, and, and at night it would get this, I was staying in this gorgeous house and I'd look out and um, the, the fog would roll in just, and it would be just a couple of inches off the ground and it, I mean, the, and it would just stay there. All night. It was really, it was really interesting. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. It sounds, yeah. sounds wonderful. Yeah, it was interesting. Um, question. Yes. That's on topic. Yes. How do you stay hopeful? I stay hopeful by um, smiling at little things, dogs, you know cats, horses, um, just being little, little things, little things first, you know, just being happy in the morning. Uh -huh. Yeah. With little, little things, you know, I'm not drinking any caffeine. So I drink Catholics. Cath and so I, you know, <laughs> just everything's just a cute, sweet little thing. Don't, don't, don't get too, to uh, mired in what I'm not having in life because I feel like I have you know a wonderful life yeah and and I think that's maybe it you know I I I think that that's the true key is you you are to honor whatever is around you at the present moment where your feet are standing yeah and if you have to take 360 degrees that's what you do but you don't put it down you know, if, if it's all of concrete and it's a city and you don't think it's very pretty and there's a lot of noise and there's people working, well, you know what? There's people working and they're able to care for their families. And it's that sort of thinking, I guess, that I have, that I have. So that's the hopefulness. So, so like where you, where you're at is where you're at. Where you're at is where you're at for right this moment and uh -huh. so you just keep going forward and what is it that you want do you want you know I would have never thought that I would have ended up in Malibu let's just say that because the bottom line is you know it's not something that I you know I was working on the Alaska pipeline way up on the Arctic Ocean you know and then I'm in Malibu boom you know it wasn't something that I was it was just that I I don't know if I resonate with just certain energies or what it is so um the thing is is just to be hopeful and not not you know fearless is a big word and and it's not to be reckless that's not what fearlessness is right it's not recklessness 
it's fearless that you can do it. You're going to be fine. You're going to be happy. You're, you know, instead of this, you know, going, you know, you can slip down into the fear and the, and the, um, you know, hopelessness of something, you know, where, where you're thinking that, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I won't, I, you know, all of those, I shouldn't, no, you, you know, we have to stop shooting on ourselves, we go into complete, you know, stepping forward in a graceful way, but it's gracefully, not recklessly, gracefully. Yeah, that acknowledgement. Sometimes of, slowly, because you can't, you don't, you know, like a book. You know, I, I didn't get to write the book in one sitting. You know, I wasn't come. prolific like Jess Stern in three weeks writing The Sleeping Prophet by Edgar Casey. You know, he's a prolific writer. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's it's like, that's that's amazing. <laughs> to, yeah. You know, an amazing feat. Yeah. yeah. You know. I have, you have other fish to fry. Gotta do what I gotta do. Not that I need fried fish, but. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I come in as, you know, it's a little bit snobby. <laughs> you don't eat uh, fish sticks, fish and chips? No, but it's, it, I have in the past, it's good. No, no. Like you've had them in London, right? Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Scotland. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Um, with, uh, I, I mean, but keeping like, uh, like in that, that space of like writing, you know, a, a book that, that you feel, you know, is, is part of the, the story that you're telling that, um, that is, information that that is beneficial to others i mean that's a hopeful place to, it's a to really be in. hopeful yeah it's a great hopeful place well i i'm 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 hoping it's very entertaining everybody that's read it so far loves it mm -hmm. so it's a very different book nobody's ever written this right well it, entertainment is a vehicle you know to 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 keep us involved right yeah. but it's like the uh, there's information in there that that transcends um yeah. you know just just passing time you know in an yeah. entertaining way you know there's yeah. there's it's not it's not fluff no it's not fluff. it builds on on something that's very not spiritual. Fluff, but maybe hopefully it's laughing and it's cry. i mean you know people have said they've laughed and they've cried Mm -hmm. and that they just love people that they didn't love before i was like well i don't know if i was like hoping to be that yeah it's like oh my god yeah. i'm gonna change that yeah yeah no <laughs> <laughs> right so is this book going to be done by christmas so that we can put it in our stockings no no it'll right. probably go to the agent in january <clears throat> So by next Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I mean, continued success on that. That that Thank is uh, that's so great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, and you, the book you just wrote. Let's see <clears> the <throat> cover. Um, where is it? Here it is. Here it is. I always keep a, a copy by me. I've got a nice little bookmarker in it too. The uh, Magic Channel Tarot reading with the the Turo wizard it's it's used in some classes as a as a textbook nice um because it's it's just broken down into um all these these you know page page chapters or their right. their their ideas that that um you know that you can you can kind of meditate on that idea and you can um work it into your your own reading style um, if if you're so inclined to do that, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, if something works for you, then it does. If it doesn't, don't do it. <laughs> don't, uh, you know, like like force your, your way into it or whatever. I've, I've found that as a reader, if I've taken things that work for other readers and it's like not my thing, I don't try to weave it in. 
because it's like um, I, I let it, uh, you know, take its its own course. And, you know, so it's it's important, important, important that uh, that you, uh, you know, find your own authentic voice, your own space when you're when you're reading and all for for others and not not try to be someone else. Right. 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 Well, yeah, usually I'm well, and, and even in tarot reading, I'm usually connecting through someone's solar plexus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those, those are great techniques to, uh, to, to practice on, you know, is the, that connection process and, um, you know, that, that's, uh, that that's when you're you're really like you know connecting with with someone's energy and 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 finding those those places where you know i i i use that that slogan or that term you know of looking for that which is helpful and hopeful and, and healing for for someone and you know if, if you can help point out where where someone else's hope lies where where they're um you know in that that place of of hearing where their their hope is but they they may not be activating it right it's like you know you these these modalities are, are there to to help someone connect with their hope and to um you know be able to use that as a as a motivating force in their life so that you know they're there it's less about the fear that they're moving towards and more towards the um, you know, building that inner strength and that that hopefulness in themselves. Well, and there's a little exercise you could do with hopefulness is that you when you're just meditating by yourself is to uh, know that you're holding sacred space for yourself. And so when you're holding sacred space, you're actually moving kind of the energy like your aura is becoming a little bigger so that you have all this good space to use. And you're not feeling cramped, like you don't have a solution, you don't have something that you can work with upcoming. So you just move, you move, you know, move, move, because you have a lot to, to attain and retain and to accomplish in your personal life. And so therefore, you know, create the sacred space for it. And that's not like allowing you know, uh, get, getting upset if somebody steps into your auric space. It's to be, you know, welcome yourself into belonging into your life. So, you know, that sacred space. Yeah, resonating with the earth, the universe, with yourself. You know, align it. It's all been aligning. Fantastic. Beautiful. Yeah. Where, where can uh, people find you, Tara? Well, they can find me at terrainsight.com, T-A-R-A-I-N-S-I-G-H-T.com. And um, I'm uh, collaborating with uh, somebody uh, for uh, equine therapy. So if anybody wants some equine therapy, it's here in LA. But uh, yeah, because we can't move the horses around <laughs> or put them on Zoom. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we have them. You can do equine therapy with me in LA. Yeah. Fantastic. I am at Jason D. McKean, uh, either on Facebook or my website, jasondmckean.com. And uh, got, uh, you know, three classes a week teaching Tarot. And there's a past life regression this Sunday that we're going to be doing, a group past life regression. And looking forward to that, finding out who you were in the past. Right. And then in March, I just locked the dates. Uh, I'm going to do another psychic, uh, Sedona psychic seminar and also a shaman summit. Beautiful. Shaman apex. So, yeah. So we'll all be putting that together and what, which shaman can, you know, come, but I did lock the, I did uh, lock a, a venue. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it up, up and coming. Yeah. Thank you, Tara. Yep. Thank Much you. love to you. Love you. And lots of love, everybody. Happy new moon. <laughs>